will solve another uh, type of problem in hexagonal lamina with respect to normal type. So we will still cut the question. So we have to construct a hexagonal lamina of sides 25 mm resting on one of its sides on HP. So the first position lying on the HP plane with respect to the sides. Now the lamina makes 45 degree to HP and the side on which it rests makes a 30 degree to VP. So first we will construct an XY line. So that means we need to construct an hexagon here. Okay. So 25, we know how to construct the hexagon. So it is a 60 degree. Similarly, okay. so now using compass, we can cut the arc for twenty five. Okay, so now exactly at this point. Can we have to mark for 60 degree? M25 we already measured so we are going to cut the arcs we will join this okay. so now we will erase these things which are not required for us Now we can write down the notations E, B, C, D, E, F. So then we will show the dimension for it. So we get the front view here. So this is the front view. So here from this end we are able to see B dash, C dash, and D dash. But A dash, F dash, and A dash not visible. So first we will take a reference point here. B dash. And a dash. So I will be marking it. So angle of inclination it is 45 degree. So angle of inclination it is 45 degree. So marking it 45 degree. Now we have to cut two arcs here. The first arc from from B dash to D dash. Second are from B dash to C dash. Okay. This is C dash, F dash, E dash, B dash. And the angle which we get here it is 45 degree. Okay. And this is what our actual length. 
so now we have to project it downward Okay, now we have to see the intersection points A. And this is B. This is your C. And this is D. This is E. And this is F. Okay, now we will join this with the thick line. So now we have to draw an angle line here. Okay, so for that uh, you can take a reference here. So, so here in this uh, thing, uh, so we can draw an angle line here also, or we can take here and we can draw a parallel line here. So by taking a parallel line here, we can draw the angle line here also. I'll be drawing a parallel line here, so that we should avoid uh, the merging of the lines. Okay. So angle to keep it is 30 degree. So I'll mark for 30 degree. It is 30. Now this is our resting point. Resting point is A. Now A to B. First R. Okay. So this is A to B. Now from A to F, your A to F and your B to C, it is exactly same. Okay. Now reverse B to F. Okay. This B to F and A to C will be of same length. Okay. So this is our F and this is C. Now from C to D. And F to E. Okay. Now again reverse it is. F to D. then from C to here ok so here at this point we get this is E and this is D okay. And this is what our uh, actual incline be. So now we will project it upward with the straight lines. Okay. we have here a dash this is b dash this is c dash d dash dash 
Now we will join all these points. So this is what your actual problem.